thank you for the bottled water. I appreciate it to all my Patreons out there, my subs, my subs, my fam. Thank you for the bottled water. And thank you for keeping the channel going by coming on here and clicking on the video and making a comment and like, share, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. All right, enough silliness. It's weird because I'm looking at the red button to stop the video, but the camera's over here. <laughs> Anyway, I'm trying not to lose my mind today. Just stay calm. And that's something that um, this video will be about. It's just, you know, sometimes I see the threat. Sometimes I see the stress that's there, right? And I know it's there. And I'm like, I'm telling myself, keep calm. Just, just keep calm. Breathe. Step away. Just breathe. And then I still find myself getting that worked up a little bit, a little stress. And I'm just like... Come back, just breathe. It's okay. Just breathe. Just do what you can do. Right. Taking a break right now as we speak. So the thing is, um, and I'm trying not to be. I'm trying to speak up to the camera so everybody can hear me without being so loud that my neighbors will hear me as well. <laughs> a couple of things. I'm just going to jump all over the place. Number one, take a deep breath and just calm yourself down. Uh, because stress is never good. It doesn't matter what profession field you're in. Life is stressful enough. You don't need to add to that anymore. And I have to take my own advice, right? Number two, um, not picking on the gun community because I feel like I'm part of the gun community in a small fraction. Uh, but I think the gun community is feeling a pinch on the whole cancel culture, the whole... Uh, the new gun laws that are just pending it's just it's stressing everybody out right it's it's getting to everybody people are getting pissed off people are you know they're tired of this shit <laughs> they want to they want a revolution um, I mean we we went through 2020 and all the shit storm that that came up and we survived it right um, including the the outcome of the elections uh, this this past year we survived it right um winter storm here in texas we survived it things are always going to come up and when it seems like on the horizon that doom and gloom's here it, it's going to happen shit, shit hits the fan's going to happen ammo shortage is going to cause a, a you know infringement on everyone's rights it's coming. Uh, the shots are coming. Um, we still survive. We still make it through regardless of whatever outcome it is. We're still here. We're still standing. So in that perspective, we'll get through it, right? It's good to be prepared. It's good to have supplies. It's good to stock up on whatever you feel is necessary to survive, including, you know, but you do what you have to do, right? At the same time, you have to keep a cool level headed so you can stay in the game long term, right? You want to stay in this game as long as possible, right? That's why we prepare. Don't get overwhelmed with it. Know your limits. Take a step back, all right? The, the other thing that I want to say and, and that I notice about the gun community is... Um, it's it's uh it's gun fatigue it's gun talk it's gun ammo it's stressed out it, everyone's fatigued from this stuff going on that we're just tired right we're we're exhausted <laughs> we feel like we're just fighting 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 it's like man let's just get back to normal let's get back to ammo being there no new gun laws coming out not infringing on our rights i just want to go to the range and shoot i just want to go and just uh, have fun enjoy it, the sport hunting shooting to practice um it's already stressful enough you know um that said let me let me jump into another room because i'm just going to be all over the place and that is you have many chances in this life i'll say that again you have many chances in this life to to learn from to make decisions you have many chances 
but you only have one life to make it count. So make it count. If that makes sense to you. You have many chances to make mistakes, to make the right calls, to learn from the mistakes, to better yourself. You get out of one relationship, you get into another, you learn from that one. And you keep moving forward. But you have one life. Make it count. Because when it's over, game over. That's it. You're done. I think that, and I'll just close this up, and that is moving forward in your life wherever you're at also means letting go letting go of possessions letting go of things you don't need as much not saying get rid of everything i'm not saying get rid of your knives or whatever your gear but letting go of some things allows you to move forward right because the more stuff you have the more baggage the more stress the more relationships you stay in, if you're if you're in multiple relationships, the more baggage, the more stress, that's what holds you from going forward, okay? The more baggage you have, preps, knives, relationships, depths, um, trying to pick a fight with everyone that, that, that you see, oh, you wanna fight? Oh, you wanna fight? Okay, let's, I'll, I'll take you on. It just weighs you down. It drags you down. It burns you out. You live fast, die fast. I want to I want to ease into the next chapter. I want to go to the next chapter after that. I'll close this out. Stop living in the past of who you used to be, of what you were, of where you were, your job title, what you used to own, what your rank was in the military. Who you used to be is not that person today. You got to let that go. And that's my advice to you. If you want to progress, if you want to stay in the game, if you want to make it longer than expected, you got to cut some of that stress out. And you got to stop worrying about everybody else and trying to fight every battle that's out there. You fight the ones that are meaningful. If you have five on your plate, whatever that is, Pick one, knock it out, accomplish it, meet your goal, so you feel like, hey, I made some progress. Didn't knock out all five, but at least handle one. All right, that's all I got. Thanks for the bottle of water, right out.